Leadership, leadership, leadership. When it comes to business schools, it seems like leadership is all that anyone wants to talk about. Not only in terms of what business schools teach, but also what business schools want. Business schools repeatedly tell you that they want leaders. As the old joke goes, HBS wants presidents, not vice presidents. Stanford doesn't want people who make the most of their opportunities. They want people who make their opportunities. Well, pretty intimidating stuff. What do you do if you don't have those perfect leadership examples? If president is not on your resume? After all, at this point in your career, when you're applying to business school, most do not have direct reports and we're never anyone's formal manager. Are the top business schools off the table? Not necessarily. In situations like these, I'd like to point out two things. First, business schools are not looking for leadership per se, but as HBS says explicitly, they're looking for the habit of leadership. Second, leadership can come in many different forms and the best person to explicitly explain the form of leadership that you possess is likely your recommender. By using the term habit in habit of leadership, HBS and by extension, other top business schools are indicating that this is a characteristic of someone that is probably manifested over a period of time. This should allow you to think more broadly about when you were a leader and in what context. So let's say you were a freshman student reporter for your college paper, which led you to become more active in campus politics and you were even elected student senator. Then you were asked by your academic department to be their student representative on their hiring committee. And when you graduated, you joined the alumni council as your class representative. This continued, even non-linear journey is something you want to communicate to business schools through your resume and short answers, but even possibly through your essays. It shows that habit that is not just appealing to HPS, but to all schools. So if your current job title doesn't scream leadership, other components of your application can do some of the heavy lifting. Meanwhile, your resume should be filled with specific and quantitative examples of leadership wherever possible, even for things that are happening outside of the office. For example, a bullet should read, raised $5,000 for a soup kitchen, not just volunteer at a soup kitchen. Organize weekly dinners with 10 friends and not just I'm a foodie. A leader is known for their successes and accomplishments and getting things done, not just that they do stuff. Push to find those discrete achievements, some things that you can share in a few words that show the impact you had. Another way to communicate your qualities as a leader is through your recommendations. This is particularly important for those of you who are in jobs that don't give you the opportunity to manage people more formally. This is where your leadership skills can shine without having the commensurate title. For example, they can highlight your intellectual leadership and that you are the person who everyone listens to. They can highlight your community leadership. You're the one who even just gets pizzas on Friday night and keeps morale going. They can highlight your team leadership. You're the one the juniors turn to as a mentor and friend. These are, of course, just examples, but all of this counts and can even be far more compelling than a title. Business schools want leaders, and it's your job to prove to the admissions committee that that's what you are, even if you don't have a job title that reflects it. Sure, you may not be the president of the company, the founder of a startup, or have any direct reports, but that doesn't mean you're not a leader. Instead, go back in time, think more broadly, and look for your anecdotes that help in explaining these things. What examples can you capture in an essay? What can a recommender say? What achievement can you put on your resume? By knitting together your different experiences and the impact you've had, you may just be the leader that every school wants.